so we have talked about uh, data paths and control paths there is a one additional kind of paths which are important from cdc point of view and those are reset paths okay so let's talk about what are those paths how what care should be taken to synchronize these paths let's take the example of the case first where reset path and the clock basically the uh, domain in in which uh, reset is generated c1 and the clock they are in the same domain when they are in the same domain sta needs to do a certain set of checks to ensure timing is better okay because let's say if reset this reset gets deasserted meaning it changes from 0 to 1 as sh being shown here it cannot change very clock to close to clock edge if it changes very close to clock edge it can cause timing violation and that can lead to metastability so basically reset deassertion cannot happen very close to clock edge and this is checked by sta as what we have known as reset recovery time so when reset reset and the clock these two domains are sync sta will take care of it by timing uh, reset recovery time now what happens when the clock domains are not same so in this case reset is coming from clock domain a while on this clock clock domain is b now let's talk about assertion assertion is independent of the clock so you assert the reset here the value directly goes to the output independent of the clock so reset assertion is independent of the clock so no matter the city no problem here. but when the deassertion happens that means rather than this arc value from d will be taken and if that happens very close to clock edge it can cause metastability since these are asynchronous clock clock a and clock b are in sync you cannot beat recovery and removal time cannot be so metastability can happen similar to what we have seen in uh, data path when setup and hold cannot be met metastability can happen here when recovery and removal cannot be met metastability can happen and since these are asynchronous clock you cannot meet timing so there will be metastability you cannot avoid it so you can you can neutralize it so let's see how it is done it is done by adding a reset synchronizer so this is the typical circuit of a reset synchronizer if you see the difference between a reset synchronizer and a normal synchronizer what is that your d pin of the input of the synchronizer is connected to constant and you are basically synchronizing this reset synchronizer once you synchronize it output is fed to your receiving clock so let's see how this behaves both during assertion time assertion and deassertion so during assertion assertion is independent of the clock so basically you assert this reset it goes from 1 to 0 this starts propagate and basically this changes from 1 This change is from one to zero immediately. So you assert the reset, sync out changes immediately, and that's it. It's independent of the clock. No problem. So nothing changed here. Now let's talk. And there was also not metastability during the session. Now let's talk about deassertion, which means reset was asserted. Now it is. DSRT so it changes from zero to one. So when reset changes from zero to one here, 
some zero to one here. So this value will start taking over. And since it can happen close to clock edge, there will be metastability. It is possible there can be metastability. The good part is this it can the value to the output is delayed by one cycle. So this flaw provides that once additional cycle for metastable flop to become stabilized. So metastability settles in this cycle and then the current value appears here. So again, adding a synchronizer, research synchronizer in this case, neutralizes the metastability. 